Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Eating Good in the Woods Campground Reviews. Today we're going to one of the most beautiful parks the National Park System has to offer. Standing Indian in Western North Carolina, just outside of Franklin, North Carolina. Come here to relax, to camp, to swim, fish, hike, you name it, this park has it. Y'all stick around, I'm going to show you around. Before we go any further, I'd like to remind you guys, please don't forget to mash that subscribe button, give me a big old thumbs up, maybe even leave me a comment or two, I sure would appreciate it. And while I'm thinking about it, go to your Play Store or wherever it is you get apps and download this app, RV Parking. It is an absolutely wonderful app for searching for campgrounds, both private and public, whether it be a county park a national park or somebody's personal RV park. It is fantastic. It also tell you where you can find nearby gas stations with dump stations and Walmarts, Cracker Barrels, etc. that allow overnight parking. And now on to Standing Indian. You know it doesn't much matter whether you plan to sleep in an RV or a tent or heck even if you're gonna sleep in the back seat of your old pickup truck. Standing Indian Campground is a prime place to stop for a night or spend several days or a week in the picturesque Nantahala National Forest. The campground's many amenities provide a comfortable home base for exploring this fun historic section of the forest. Standing Indian is located within 20 minutes of Franklin, North Carolina, where there's tons of stuff to do. The campground has four loops with sites available on the first come first serve basis or by reservation. You can see about reserving a site at recreation.gov. Sites are equipped with campfire rings, grills, lantern posts, and picnic tables, and are in close proximity to drinking water, flush toilets, and showers. There is a dump station nearby, and the campground also has a group camping area called Kimsey Creek. The campground is surrounded by 5,000 foot peaks and crossed by several natural streams. It sits at an elevation of 3,880 feet at the headwaters of the scenic Nantahala River, a mist lush forest of green trees and rhododendrons. The Standing Indian Basin is a premier hiking destination. The campground provides access to numerous trails including the world-famous Appalachia Trail, which journeys from Georgia to Maine. Visitors who wish to get their feet wet can experience the Nantahala River, well known for whitewater rafting, kayaking, and trout fishing. And don't forget, a fishing license is required. Big and small game hunting is available in the surrounding areas. The Nantahala also has plenty of swimming holes on them hot summer days. Unfortunately, all the sites are a standard non-electric, as is the group site. But if you come with a good bank of batteries and say a quiet generator or perhaps even some solar panels, you're going to be just fine. They do have a day use area, lots of hiking trails, and like I mentioned before, plenty of fishing, hunting, and camping. They do have a nice picnic area that you can use by the day, and a really nice amphitheater as well. Say that reminds me, if y'all are looking for a way to support this channel, keep this here trainer rolling full of farm fresh content twice a week, why don't you slide over to my Teespring shop, get yourself a coffee mug or maybe even a t-shirt. But if you don't want to do that, how about you go to buymeacoffee.com and for the price of a cup of coffee, you help keep this train a-rolling. You can also visit boondockerswelcome.com. All of the links are in the description. Thanks a bunch. And as always, folks, help protect our forest. Please don't move firewood. Prevent the spread of tree-killing pests by obtaining firewood at or near your destination. 
and burning it on site. Moving firewood is illegal in some states. Please visit don'tmovefirewood.org to learn more about this. Here's a little more information about the campground. Hemlocks and rhododendron create a privacy fence between the 84 sites that line five loops. In the summer, the cool mountain air pervades, creating a perfect environment for tent and RV camping. As I mentioned before, there is no sewer or electric hookup, but there is a place to go fill your tanks full of water. They also have a dump station within a mile for dumping the other tanks. There is a total of 78 sites that range in size from 25 to 50 feet. There are fire rings at each site and all of the campsites are paved. Kimsey Creek crosses the campground and runs into the Nantahala River, a popular place for whitewater rafting and kayaking as I mentioned before. The creek offers trout fishing and chances for wading. Standing Indian Basin is a popular fishing area which requires an in-state or out-of-state North Carolina fishing license. Nearby is the Standing Indian Picnic Area, which offers picnic shelters that may be reserved. Check for more information at recreation.gov. The Appalachia Trail also offers awesome views from Albert Mountain and along the Long Branch Trail Loop. Well, that's going to be about it for this episode of Eating Good in the Woods Campground Reviews. I got to tell you, Standing Indian is a beautiful, beautiful park. And for the money, I can't see how you can go wrong here. So until next time, y'all go on out there and be nice to one another. I love y'all. God bless. We'll see you next time. <music>